The legacy mode feature allows the MP8000, MP800 family to interoperate with the legacy products of the Tsunami MP11 family, including the MP11 5054 series, the 5012 series, the 2454 series, etc. By default, legacy mode on the MP8000, MP800 series is disabled in this video. We'll cover the steps to enable legacy mode and interconnect the MP8000, MP800 series with the legacy Tsunami MP11 family. There are four things to remember when dealing with legacy mode. Number one. MP8000, MP800 BSU devices in legacy mode can connect to an MP8000, MP800 series SU device only when configured in legacy mode. Number two, it is not possible to simultaneously connect subscribers in legacy mode and subscribers in high throughput mode to the same BSU. If one device is in legacy mode, all other devices should be in that mode as well. Number three, when legacy mode is enabled, Tsunami MP8000, MP800 series behave like the Tsunami MP11 5054 product. And number four, the maximum channel size is 20 megahertz. Maximum data rate is 54 megs at 64 quam or three quarter modulation. Due to the MP11 limitation, it is recommended not to exceed 16 quam, three quarter modulation or 36 meg data rate. Legacy mode supports the following features. Basic synchronization. If country frequency warp setting and security are identical in both ends, links should form and data should pass. DDRS, MP8000, MP800 series in legacy mode adapts its transmit modulation as if it was in high throughput mode. QoS, QoS class define the base MP11 or MP8000, MP800 series in legacy mode is forward to subscribers MP11 or MP800-8000 series upon association radius based provision and also works in legacy mode. VLANs. The subscriber MP11 or MP8000, MP800 series in legacy mode should locally manage VLAN configuration for VLANs to work in legacy mode. Radius based provision and does not work in legacy mode and allowed untagged management access option has been added to the access mode. It needs to be enabled to match the MP11 unit behavior and allow management even if access ID does not match the management VLAN ID. Basic satellite DFS. DFS radar detection is supported on both base and subscriber. Satellite radar detection report is not taken into account by the base. Syslog and SNMP traps, MP8000, MP800 series in legacy mode generate Syslog and SNMP traps equivalent to the MP11 units. Extra SNMP traps have been created. They're going to be displayed in the next slide. SNTP client, the MP8000, MP800 series in legacy mode receive network time as if they were in high throughput mode. Routing including RIP and NAT. RIP v2 simple authentication is not compatible between the MP11 and the MP8000, MP800 series in legacy mode. The first steps that have to be done before enabling the legacy mode option is to go ahead and make sure that your settings are the same between a 5054 radio and your 81, 8200 radio. So as you can see here, I am in my MP8100 radio. Over here on my first tab, this is a 5054 base station. So the only thing that's going to matter is going to be your network name and then the channel. So you could just copy your network name, go back into basic configuration. Right over here, we're going to change it to whatever your network name is and go ahead and change the channel. Once that's done, go ahead and click OK. Now, the only other option which is um, not enabled by default on the 5054s is going to be your security. Okay, so the encryption by itself is disabled. So if you have this option enabled in the 5054s, go ahead and make sure that you're going to follow the same security pattern that you have in the 5054s between the two radios. 
once this information has been entered go ahead and click on wireless properties legacy mode go ahead and select enable by default it is set to disable select enable hit OK and commit and then it's gonna ask you to reboot after the radio is rebooted then you should be able to go to say your 5054 radio click on per station and you will see the link we could go ahead and switch over now to the MP8100 in our case and then click on monitor warp interface 1 and BSU link statistics and this is going to show us that the link is connected to our 5054 base station To learn more about Proxim Wireless and our solutions, please visit us at Proxim.com or follow us at Twitter at Proxim.